Hey everybody, it's Cujo again, and what is in the bag? So last time Scott and I did a video, we talked about our RF remote box. The reason we built that was to give us better RF management, give us a smaller footprint close to set, and to give us uh, Dante capabilities over long range. So that's why we did it. And then we highlighted this thing called Dante in a bag. And everybody wanted to know what was in the bag. It's very simple. One receiver, one battery, one BDS, and one cable. This gives us four channels, super fast, hide it almost anywhere, and then we can run this back to the recorder within a reasonable distance, up to 100 meters. We're using the RF venue uh, diversity fin. We have uh, short BNC cables that run to the back of the bag. That gives us our antenna inputs. And then we have our CAT6 cable or CAT5E cable that runs back to the recorder. In the bag, we have, in this case, the Electro D squared four channel receiver. We have an NP1 battery with a battery cup. We have a PSC power supplier, power distro, and that's it. That's all the micro bag requires. One of the things that I've given up in this particular setup is the ability to have command and control of the D squared over the CAT6 cable. If I wanted to have that control, it's very, very easy. I just drop a little router switch right here. The uh, Netgear 108 is powered by 12 volt DC power. Gives you eight uh, RJ45 connectors. One of them's power over ethernet. It's important to understand the differences between a micro bag like this and a full featured RF remote box that you might build. The full featured RF remote box is gonna have all your channel counts. It's gonna have your boom and crew comms. It's gonna have your Comtech feeds and IFB feeds. It's going to have your two-way command and control system of all your receivers and transmitters. This bag does not have that. This is a few channels really fast in a really tiny bag that you can bring back to your recorder over Dante. There's some other ways to go about getting Dante back to your cart in case you don't have a D squared or you want to use a, a, a different brand of receiver, totally fine. There's dongles out there. Avio from uh, Audinate has them. Uh, there's some other manufacturers that have small little Dante converters. If you don't want to go Dante, or if you don't have a Dante capable recorder and you don't want to go through a bunch of Dante dongles to make it happen, there's another way you can do this. This is made by Sound Tools. It's called the Cattails. You have your input side, you have your output side. This gives you four channels over Ethernet cable. The way this would work, if I wanted to run it on this bag, I would simply plug these in just like that to the back of the bag. I would plug in the RJ45 and then run that back to my recorder. And at the other end, I plug in the RJ45 here, plug these connectors into my recorder, and I'm good to go. What's the range on this? Well, audio over CAT6 or CAT5E is up to 3,000 feet with no appreciable loss. You can run audio, you can run DMX, you can run comm systems, uh, and you can run them all side by side. It doesn't matter. As long as you're using CAT5E or better, uh, it's all shielded cable and you can run multiple different formats next to each other on the same, on the same cable with no problem. Dear manufacturers, if you are not making Dante, and if you are not making remote control over ethernet as part of your package, you are seriously missing the boat. More and more, we're gonna need smaller, faster, lighter packages. And the one thing that we really, really need that nobody's made yet is a Dante interface box that'll fit in a bag like this. Everybody makes rack mounted size converter boxes, we're looking for a multi-channel Dante converter that'll fit in a bag and run off a battery. Make that, you'll sell a bunch.
So today's takeaway is that it doesn't necessarily matter exactly what's in the bag. What matters is that we can be in a bag and still do our job. Getting your gear away from your cart and on the set and using one cable to bring all your information back, that's the key. You're gonna come up with what works for you and your specific application. Manufacturers are gonna pay attention and they will have new gear coming out. So think outside the box, make some new ideas, get down to one cable, stay safe. Oh, and here's your little nugget for the day. This guy right here, there's gonna be a video about that real soon. Hey guys, this is an important message for all of you uh, sound friends out there. All of what Scott and I are doing, we're doing basically for free. We're not getting paid for any of this. All of the gear is gear that we own, that we've bought and paid for over the years. Occasionally we get sent a test piece from a manufacturer, we get to test it, and then we gotta stick it in a box and send it home. If you know somebody that has some gear that needs to be tested, get a hold of us. We'll test it, we'll tell you what we think, and we'll be honest about it. Now, let's be safe, wash your hands, let's go back to work.